All right, we're out here, this Savage Axis uh, rifle with a wooden stock. This one's a little bit unusual. It's, it's an access, not an access to. And I can't find the listing where they made the early ones with uh, wooden stock. So I'm going to try it out. As compared to the synthetic stock, it's got a bit more weight to it. And to me, it shoulders better. I guess I'm just an old person. I like wood better than hollow plastic. It's the same action generally, just placed in a wooden stock. And this has a weaver scope on it. And in the book, it said it discontinued. Well, I'm going to try to sight it in and see what, see what I get here. There's hardly any recoil whatsoever. Military brass don't want to chamber that easy. Right, I'm going to go see where my preliminaries are and make my adjustments from there. Okay, as usual, we're out here working with this, trying to tweak the scope in. Uh, so far, so good. It doesn't look like it's moving. And the normal, you know, couple clicks here, a couple clicks there, but I think I got it dialed in here at 50 yards. Then we'll take it out and run it, but in 223, with this wooden stock and the weight, it's an extremely comfortable gun to shoot. Uh, it's got a weaver scope on it that kind of came with it, I guess. Uh, Savage has discontinued using that model scope, I believe. This is a older setup. I don't know how long ago the person purchased this, but I, I can't complain. You know, solid. Got it on. All right, as you can see, we started off a little low and to the right. I adjusted it windage wise till I had those two at the bottom of the diamond. Then, by the time I was able to figure out how many clicks to move it a square, and got it dialed right in now at 50 yards. And then you go out to, now that we got it in, go to 100 or 200, whatever you intend to shoot at, and then readjust the scope to that distance with that ammo. Well, all right, after the sight in, four rounds, pretty ragged little group there, and that was Mrs. Koba gave it a try. And so not bad. The reloads are good. I, it, it's a reload I made. Pretty nice. It's got a Hornaday. I think it's a 55 grain bullet with a purple tip on there. They discontinued it or something. I bought them on sale and loaded some ammo up. But not too shabby. All right. Should be it. Let's go down and see what we've done. All right, we're doing pretty good here with a four shot group. Uh, that is a reload I tuned in.
for the AR-15, and it's, it is accurate. So out of that little bolt gun, it's deadly. That's what the wife did, a bit steadier handed to me. And I did a four shot group where I got three of them touching and one flyer. Of course, a little bit of that is my shaking. I can see it, but with a steadier hand, somebody can do an awful lot better with their little rifle. I mean, so, it's not bad for a gun in that class and what they cost. And that wooden stock does, does make it a tad bit more comfortable to shoot, you know, from sitting on a bench, not so much uh, toting it as a hunting gun. But that's what we got. We're going to take her out to 100 yards now.